Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods, and today we're going to do issue 98 of Build the Classic Root Master. And we're going to literally be starting on the uh, lower deck uh, framework and windows. So yeah, should be an interesting issue uh, today. The good news is I don't have to actually work on the bus, I can work on my uh, cutting mat. Uh, so yeah, uh, with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, so let's get started. So we need this nice bit of metal framework uh, to bring over. That is absolutely beautiful and stunning. Um, and basically we're just going to be putting uh, one of the windows without a uh, without one of the uh, up window openings. Just making sure that's all lined up. In fact, I must try it around the other way a little bit because it didn't look like it was lined up properly. And there we go. And we need to screw this in with some EM screws. So we need four of them. So let's get one loaded up. Just going to check it, see if it'll go on my. No, nope, it needs the Wearer zero, 00 screwdriver. There we go. So let's get one of these in. So four to put in all together. That one's going in nice. The only thing with this uh, model is the screws are tiny. Absolutely minuscule. And I know when we start to put the outer on the bus, we've got a lot of red uh, NM screws. Because obviously, being in the Rootmaster show. I obviously know uh, what's going on with that one. Okay, so this is the last one. They've all gone in perfectly. No need for three in one aisle uh, for this. And they're in nicely. Okay, so just moving that to one side. The next bit we need to bring across is this bit here and this bit here because yes, we've got a pane of glass to put in. Um, this bit is going to obviously be the uh, window opener so I'm just going to put that in place then I need to bring this bit across line that up with it don't matter if it moves down a bit as long as it's still in its runners and then we need to screw this down and we are oh actually no we need to put this pane of uh, glass in first Getting a bit ahead of myself there. This is going to make the window, and that needs to be screwed in with some OP screws. Let me just get some OP screws lined up. We'll get this light down. Uh, my PH uh, zero screwdriver is going to do the job because the head is big enough for this one. Okay, so let's get the first one in. Let's get the second one in. Try and do it in a in a star pattern. Let's get the next one. And we've got the last one to go. And this is the last one going in. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to secure the top bit of that in, and that's going to be done with some BP screws. So let's get some BP screws loaded up. Nope, they're small enough, they need to use the PH00 screwdriver. Next one in. And that is now nice and screwed down. Now we've got a bit of extra detail to put on this. Uh, we've got this sort of handle here. 
um, and that's just going to be going on the side but again we do need to screw this in and for that we need to screw in it with, with some NM screws again these are absolutely tiny screws but I'm going to have to get used to these because these are the ones that uh, we're going to use on the outside of the bus to put all the panels on now it's nice going in with my uh, PH00 screwdriver but I do have a PH000 screwdriver if I need to so I'll just finish this off screw it down into place just like that okay so the next thing we need to do is we've got the uh, window winder uh, to do let me just turn the page over for the magazine um, and we'll sit this way with this bit down now I'm going to put this directly onto the bus after we we'll just need to push that detail in there now I'm tending to do with these details because I do not want these falling off is because look at that um, I'm actually gluing uh, them in and it just makes it uh, so much easier so I'll do that off stream and I'll also put it on the bus off stream but that is it for this issue uh, issue 98 so yeah I'm happy to say it's complete well wasn't that a fun little uh, issue today uh, issue 98 I think I'm going to try and get issue 99 and issue 100 out of the way today uh, I'll just have to see how it goes for time because uh, using Premiere Pro it does take a little bit longer to upload to YouTube than it used to do with PowerDirector but I like Premiere Pro because I can send these videos out in HD which is absolutely fantastic and I'm hoping it has improved the channel quite a bit so if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos that go up on my channel but as for always guys stay safe and bye for now